congratulations. What Thank a you. fantastic thing to be a part of such a huge, and rarely sequels are better than the first, and, and it is, isn't it? I'm so proud of this film. I'm so proud to be a part of it. I mean, my part of it is very small. I mean, the voices, we do it over a couple of days, and then they send it off to these guys who spend three years animating it, and they really do the acting in it, because they... You, how long did you work on this? Well, I, I went in and I did one day, like a half a day, probably like four or five hours, um, and I did half the film, the voice of the film, and then a year later I went back and I did another like five hours and did the second half of the film, and then they finish it. They just, they, they're the actors, the animators just kind of draw these characters and create the, the you know, the livelihood of it. And um, That's how I shoot this show. I'll do the voice <laughs> and then they piece it together they piece later it together, on. together, right? Yeah. yeah that's well, what Shrek 2, we're talking, I, sometimes I just assume everybody knows what I'm talking about and I shouldn't do that. Shrek 2 is the movie we're talking yeah. about. But when I did Finding Nemo, I worked so, throughout the three years. Right. It, it was just, it was like. Did you have to sync up to your animation? Oh, no. Though? Did you? Yeah. No, neither did we. No. They, I think that's what makes it so easy. And did you like doing it? Even I though loved it, it. You do? I do. I, I mean, it's so much fun. It's so much, you just go in there and you, blah, blah, you know, and yeah. make all these faces and yeah. nobody sees them except for when you come here and do it. Right. <laughs> Why did I do that? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But, um. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't picture you making those faces yeah. when, I, <laughs> when I was doing piano. Yeah. No. Have you seen the doll yet? I haven't seen the dog. I, I haven't. Little, you do? Yeah. Really? Yeah, you really haven't seen it? I really have not seen it. This is it. Oh! Really? Yeah. Let me see her. Fiona. <laughs> She's awesome. Yeah, she... Uh. Don't you always wonder? You have to know what is underneath there. It's her. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, careful. Yeah, that's and, uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> no, because I, and I think it's a great message. I think the movie is so important for, for, you know, that's why I love Mankind. movies like, Mankind. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's why I think movies like this, I'm happy when they're successful yeah. because they have a good message. The message is, I mean, I, because you don't see, I don't read a script, I don't know what the film really is doing, you know, what the other characters are doing or what the real story ends up being at the end of it. So. When I see the film, when all of us see the film, like Mike and Eddie, everybody, it, we see it for the first time as well. We just saw it like a month ago. So it, we get to be fans of the film as well. Mm -hmm. And um, when I first saw it and I saw, I, I, you know, watched it and I saw that the message was just, it's so timely, you know, talking about loving yourself and accepting yourself and loving and accepting others um, for who they are. It's, you know, being able to love yourself, that's the only, that's where you, your happiness begins. Mm -hmm. And you don't need anything outside of that. You don't, you can't buy anything. You can't, you know, you can't buy anything that I own or I can't buy anything that you own that's going to make me happier. You have to be, you're never gonna be happy unless you're happy with yourself. And, and that's such a wonderful message, it's so timely, especially how obsessed we are with like materialism in this country, in our society. Yeah. It's just, it's over, it, 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 we're really hurting ourselves, we're really kind of digging ourselves a hole. I, absolutely, and, and I really do, I love when there are messages like that, and it's smart, and it's for people of all ages, yeah. kids, kids like it, and it starts teaching them to think and be smart and get smart humor yeah. early on. It's yeah. like what I was talking about, that I just, I wish nice would be cool. And Nice is cool. Yeah. But, uh, and it's but, totally true too, by the way, the people who think that they're cool are not cool. And yeah. the people who think, that have no idea how cool they are, mm -hmm. are always the ones that just like shine in the room and you're like, I think he's cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, he has the, no idea how cool he is. Do, do you think <laughs> that I'm cool? I think <laughs> I'm I think you're cool. All right. Yeah. Um, I think you're cool too. Um, oh, right. that was really sincere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know. No. no. I'll work on it. Um, no, you know I think you're oh, cool. Oh, they say break. Yeah, they're saying break. Okay. We have to. Okay, break. You, you, okay. And break. break. Yeah.